Iowa FFA, at this time we have an announcement. We will be announcing the winner of our social media challenge for this year's convention. So the winner of our Iowa FFA social media challenge is Austin Wintzinski of the Newell Fonda FFA chapter. And our top three winners of this year's convention app photo contest are Cole Thomas of River Valley, Lane Hauser of West Marshall, and Miles My Mateus of Denver. If your name was called, please head on over to the secretary's desk to claim your prize. You know, George, when I was backstage, I was hearing from some of our members that we have some pretty good rappers in the crowd. Really? Some yeah. rappers? Yeah. How many of us know the FFA Creed? A well, few. we're going to have our own little rap battle up on stage here. So can we go ahead and have our rappers come to the stage? All righty. So who is our first contestant? Autumn Schmidt. Everyone give their hands together for Autumn Schmidt. <laughs> and second we have? Sam Crawford. We have Sam. Everyone give Sam a round of applause. So in just a moment, these two lovely individuals are going to be rapping our famous FFA Creed. What do we think about that? Awesome. So, which one of our contestants would like to go first? Whatever you want. Awesome. So, it sounds like our rappers are going to split the creed in half. They're pulling it up now. Who would like to go first? All righty, so here to the mic is Miss Autumn Schmidt. Do you want to come on up? And you can go ahead and take my microphone and begin whenever you're ready. Right. Andy, can you, Andy, can you give me a beat? I believe in the future of agriculture with a faith for not of words, but of deeds. Achievements won by the present and past generations of agriculturalists in the promise of better days through better ways. Even as the best things we now enjoy have come to us through the struggles of former years. Woo! Let's give it up for Autumn! Put your hands together. All righty, Sam, come on up and let's finish that creed. I believe that to live and work on a good farm or to be engaged in other agricultural pursuits is pleasant as well as challenging. For I know the joys and discomforts of agricultural life and hold an inborn fondness for those associations which, even in hours of discouragement, I cannot deny. Awesome! Let's give our, content, our competitors a round of applause. What? I got an idea. Awesome! So now I'm going to pass it over to George. All right, before we start our next activity, one more round of applause for our contestants. All right, I don't know about anyone else, but one of my favorite events at an Iowa State football game is the wave. Who all knows how to do the wave? Yeah, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start over here, and we're going to do the wave throughout the entire Hilton Coliseum, all right? Who do you think can do that? Yeah, are we ready? All right, everyone over here, start us out strong on three. One, two, three. Let's see that wave. All the way around, keep it going. All the way, all the way. Oh, we made it. Now send it back, send it back. Woo, all right. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, there we go, looking stronger. All right. Now, I think that was fairly good, but compared to the storms we had today, that was pretty weak. What do you think, I, I Annie? I think that was pretty weak. Do we think we should try that wave one more time? Yes, yeah, yes I love right. enthusiasm. All right, on three. 
your best wave possible. All right. One, two, three. Oh, we're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. There we go. All the way. Ready, send her back home. Keep coming. Don't let us down. Take it home. You're in the finish line. Yeah, there we go. Now, who here wants some t-shirts? session. The secretary's desk has a few announcements at this time. All stars over Iowa candidates, please move to designated seats in section 111. Ag skills teams, please move to designated seats in section 112. I would agree as soon as we receive results. I would agree recipients are seated in sections 210, 211, and 212. Recipients need to bring their seat cards with them backstage before they go on. Again, recipients need to bring their seat cards with them backstage before they go on stage. All state officer candidates, balloted or otherwise, should move to section 134. As a reminder, please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices. No laser pointers are permitted in Hilton Coliseum. Thank you.
please stand for the singing of our national anthem by Laura Steinkamp of the Carroll Area FFA chapter. Oh, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so precious twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red I'll be at the FFA Enrichment Center in about five minutes, but there's a list of things to do for state convention on my desk. Could you guys go grab that and start working on it before I get there? Yeah, a list. Okay, thanks, JD. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll grab the list, don't worry. I got the list! Huh, this is a pretty interesting list, but I guess it probably wants us to do it. We're going to have to divide and conquer. Oh, no. They took the wrong list. I hope they didn't get too far ahead of me.
and the bass keeps running, running, and 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 running
to the show. Welcome to the show. FFA members, advisors, parents, and guests, for the final time, our 2023-2024 Iowa FFA Officer Team. Our North Central State Vice President from the Nevada FFA Chapter, Josie w -W Kelly. Our yeah, Northwest yeah, State yeah, Vice President yeah, from the Sibley Ocean FFA Chapter, J.D. Kramer. Our Southeast State Vice President from the Cedar Rapids Prairie FFA Chapter, Will Vlachka. Our Southwest State Vice President from the Ottoman FFA Chapter, Colin Bauer. Our South Central State Vice President from the East Union FFA Chapter, Lizzie Hadley. Our Northeast State Vice President from the Benton Shellsburg FFA Chapter, Annabelle Newton. Our State Reporter from the Columbus FFA Chapter, Emma Humphrey. Our State Secretary from the East Buchanan FFA Chapter, Lauren Meyer. Our State President from the South Winnesheek FFA Chapter, Holly Schmidt. And after 42 years of teaching from the Lamar FFA Chapter, your advisor, Miss Barb Lemmer. Ladies and gentlemen, for the final time, our 2023-2024 Iowa FFA Officer Team. The convention hall will come to order. We are now holding the fourth and final session of the 96th Iowa FFA Leadership Conference. Madam Vice President, for the final time, are all officers at their stations. I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their station, and report back to you, Madam President, the Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duties there? Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the door, by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to the Virgin Islands and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer, stationed at the emblem of Washington. 
your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements, just as Washington kept his farm account, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among the members and strive to build up our financial standing through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. Secretary. Stationed by the ear of corn. Your duties there. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. Advisor. Here by the owl. Why station by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I'm asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice is always based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Madam Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over the meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is the token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, for the final time, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The secretary will call the roll of members. I am pleased to announce that at this, the fourth and final general session of the 96 Iowa FFA Leadership Conference, there are 6,917 members, advisors, and guests from 259 chapters present, Madam President. Thank you, Madam Secretary. FFA members, why are we here? To practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this, the fourth and final session of the 96th Iowa FFA Leadership Conference duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. FFA members, advisors, and guests, welcome to the fourth and final session of the 96th Iowa FFA Leadership Conference presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau Federation. The past two days have been filled with exciting moments showing how Iowa FFA is truly amazing. And this last session is no exception. We will recognize our stars over Iowa, send 793 FFA members across this stage to receive their Iowa degree and announce the nine members that will lead our organization for the year ahead. For the final time, let's get loud and proud for the fourth and final session of the 96 Iowa FFA Leadership Conference. Your fourth session chairs have many things that make them unique. Your first chair from Northwest Iowa is the team's South Dakota State Jackrabbit, who can almost always be found in the barn working with her cattle, sheep, and pigs. Your second chair calls South Central Iowa home. 
She brightens each room she walks into with her sense of humor and compassion for others. She takes on each new day with a Dr. Pepper in hand. Your third session chair from Northeast Iowa can be found swing dancing, talking about her ducks, or drinking chocolate milk by the gallon. These three all have a passion for agriculture and service that has been clear during this last year. Iowa FFA, please help me in welcoming my teammates and your final session chairs, your Northwest State Vice President, J.D. Bramer, your South Central State Vice President, Lizzie Hadley, and your State President, Holly Schmidt. Where are they? being a cowboy these days. Oh, it sure is. I was a little worried our horses weren't going to get us here in time for the start of the fourth general session. Where have you two been? What well, took you so long? Well, you see, Lizzie and I are the newest cowboys in town. We've been practicing hard all year to have this final showdown. Oh, you bet. We got our horses, our ranches, and we're even signed up to go to a few rodeos across the state. But you guys, the fourth general session has already started. What? what? Where I, do I, I ain't my got pony? my spurs. Whoa, we don't have time for this cowboy business. In this session, we're going to be recognizing our FFA members from across the state, like our CDE winners from throughout the year. Keep holding those horses because we will also be highlighting our state band and chorus, our stars over Iowa finalists, and our 2024 Iowa degree recipients. And before we end this hoedown, we are going to cheer on our state FFA talent winner, recognize past state officers from over the years, and install the 2024-2025 Iowa FFA state officer team. So giddy on up for the fourth and final session of the, the 96 Iowa FFA, FFA Leadership Conference. I'm Holly and you're watching State Convention. Hey everyone, I'm JD and this is State Convention. Iowa FFA Leadership Conference. The Iowa FFA Association is thankful for our partnership with Principal Charity Classic, Birdies for Charity. We know that we can count on them to serve a tremendous role in supporting agriculture in the blue corduroy. We are honored to have Principal Charity Classic birdies for charity to support the Iowa FFA for multiple years now. Please help me in thanking the fourth session sponsor, Principal Charity Classic, birdies for charity.
summer My name is Will Vlashek. I'm currently serving as the Iowa FFA Southeast State Vice President. I am 19 years old, and today I'll be FFA speaking International Harvester. I am the son of a third generation farmer, been married 10 years to the farmer's daughter. I'm a God fearing, hard working combine driver. extremely honored to welcome our next guest. Governor Kim Reynolds is the 43rd governor of Iowa and has the distinction of being the first woman elected to the state's highest office. She has a long record of public service, which also includes serving as Lieutenant Governor, State Senator, and Clark County Treasurer. Governor Reynolds' strong conservative values are reflected in her priorities for Iowa. Under her leadership, Iowans have benefited from the largest tax cut in state history and continued tax reform, record investments in public education, increased access to mental health care, and aggressive workforce policy initiatives that will keep Iowa's economy strong. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, Governor Reynolds maintained a balanced approach to protect the health, lives, and livelihoods of all Iowans. Iowa's health care system remained stable, our economy remained open for business, and our schools were able to reopen. Iowa now ranks first in the nation for the fastest COVID-19 recovery. We are so pleased to have her here with us today. Please join me in welcoming Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. Thank you, Holly, for that very nice introduction. Um, I can tell you the FFA Leadership Conference is an event that I look forward to each and every year. It's always inspiring to me to see so many engaged young Iowans who are genuinely passionate about agriculture. And I can tell you with great certainty there's no better place to nurture that passion than right here in our state. We produce 10% of America's food supply, have an unmatched renewable fuel sector, number one, and rank second in the nation for the overall value of our agricultural exports. And I'm especially proud that we've achieved this agricultural dominance while prioritizing conservation. Iowa farmers are at the forefront of protecting our natural resources setting records for conservation implementation, and leading the nation in adoption of several water quality practices. In fact, the only thing more exciting than the present state of ag in Iowa is the future potential. In the past year alone, I've had the opportunity to welcome Pivot Bio, a startup company, at Iowa State University's research park that's developing a sustainable new way to deliver nitrogen to crops, to celebrating the ongoing expansion of the BDL with its cutting edge research capabilities, and to travel to Israel to recruit some of the world's most innovative ag tech firms to our great state. All of this and more is already taking shape in Iowa which is exactly why we need young people just like you, who's prepared not only to thrive in ag's innovative future, but most importantly, we need you to shape it. And that's exactly what FFA is all about. Your FFA education introduces you to countless career possibilities available in ag. It allows you to be growers, scientists, and builders to learn by doing. And as a result, 
you're gaining the skills and the confidence that will prepare you to push this industry forward in the years to come. You're also acquiring something more, something just as meaningful as the technical knowledge that you've gained. FFA also offers you lessons in leadership through a commitment to service, because the truth is the most successful people excel in both. FFA leadership demands competence and commitment. It's about fostering teamwork, honing critical thinking and decision-making skills, and recognizing the value of competition and achievement. Every single community in Iowa needs young leaders like you who have learned these lessons. And that's why I'm so grateful to and for the alumni, the advisors, and above all, the educators who do so much to mentor their students. Thank you for taking a personal interest in their development and for laying a foundation they'll build on for the rest of their lives. Thanks to you, tomorrow's leaders are in excellent hands. And really, that's one of the many reasons that I believed our teachers deserved a salary that reflects the vital role that they play. I was proud to sign into law a bill that increases starting teacher pay to $50,000 a year and sets a minimum salary of $62,000 for teachers with experience of 12 years or more. These investments put Iowa in the top five states for starting pay and will help recruit more of the best and brightest to join our teaching profession. And in doing so, we'll ensure that the nation's best state FFA association continues to thrive. It's hard to imagine a better outcome for our state. The future of ag is in Iowa, and Iowa's future is in FFA. Without a doubt, our communities and our state are better for it. God bless you. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for the great state of Iowa. Governor Reynolds, we cannot thank you enough for your consistent dedication and support for STEM, agricultural education, and of course, FFA here in the state of Iowa. Please accept this conference gift as a token of our appreciation. Let's give another round of applause for our governor, Kim Reynolds. good rodeo has the best walkout songs for their cowboys. So what do you cowgirls have for yours? Oh, you bet. Mine is. This ain't Texas. Woo! Ain't no holdem. Hey! So they okay, okay, but that's not as good as mine. Maybe we should leave the song choices up to some great musicians right here in Hilton Coliseum. Please direct your attention to the back of Hilton to hear from the 2024 Iowa FFA Band, sponsored by Morningside University and directed by Colin Didlicky.
let's give one final round of applause for our 2024 Iowa FFA Band. JD, come on, your time was a minute 30. Guys, this session isn't a barrel race, but we've been working hard all year to become pro rodeo cowboys, dedicating hours to perfecting our skills. That sounds a lot like our FFA members and their supervised agricultural experiences. They put in hours of hard work outside the classroom and learned some pretty awesome skills while doing it. Let's put our hands together to celebrate these FFA members and welcome to the stage our 2024 Stars Over Iowa finalists. <laughs> the State Selection Committee recommended these 22 candidates as stars in their respective categories. Yesterday, several rounds of interviews were conducted where the candidates shared their knowledge of their supervised agricultural experiences, showed their personal development, expressed future goals, and answered questions from judges to determine the 2024 Stars Over Iowa. With us today is Keith McPherson on behalf of our Stars Over Iowa sponsor, Beck Hybrids. The finalists in the area of agribusiness are. My name is Lena Sanguin and I'm a senior member of the Sioux Central FFA chapter in Sioux Rapids, Iowa. My SAE project is making and selling handmade holiday decorations like wreaths, swags, and centerpieces from evergreen and cedar trees that I harvested myself. I started by making wreaths for family members and expanded to offer more products advertising to a wider audience. My love for floriculture has definitely contributed to this business and kept me motivated. I served as the 2023 chapter president and was the 2023 state first place egg sales proficiency award winner. I have also participated in the state floriculture CDE and helped with the fundraising efforts for a new greenhouse. After graduation, I plan to attend Iowa State University to double major in food science and global resource systems. I am the daughter of Greg and Laura Sanguin. My chapter advisor is Mrs. Melanie Bloom. My high school principal is Mr. Jeff Sharn, and my superintendent is Mr. Kevin Wood. Your star finalist in the area of agribusiness, please join me in congratulating Lena Sanguin. My name is Brendan Hudson and I'm a member of the Waco FFA chapter in Wayland. For my SAE, I created Hudson Lawn Care. I offer residential and commercial lawn care, landscaping, 
spring and fall cleanup, gutter cleaning, hedge and tree trimming, as well as snow removal. I started my business with five mowing properties that I managed on a weekly basis using a push mower gifted to me by my grandfather and hauled in the back of my parents' van. My business has expanded from five properties to 35 with the help of SAE grants and reinvesting my profits. I have been successful because of mentors who have poured their knowledge and experience into me, including my FFA advisor, Mr. Fetzer, and a local business owner, Len Richard, along with many others. I am currently serving as the chapter vice president and advanced to state last year in individual ag sales. After graduation, I plan on attending North Osceola Community College or DMAC to study power line technology. I am the son of Chad and Shada Hudson. My chapter advisor is Mr. Ethan Fetzer. My high school principal is Mr. Tim Bartels, and my superintendent is Mr. Tim Crawford. Your star finalists in the area of agribusiness, please join me in congratulating Brendan Hudson. My name is Reagan Clarahan, and I'm a member of the Sigourney FFA chapter. My SAE project includes breeding and marketing standard poodles and Bernadoodles. My family has been in the cattle production business for generations. When I started my SAE project, I wanted to do something different. My project started when I purchased my first male poodle as a puppy. Since then, my pack has grown to my three breeding dogs, which I have marketed over 40 puppies from. What has contributed to my success is using various marketing strategies to connect with a wide range of potential customers. I am currently serving as the vice president of my FFA chapter and as the Southeast District Secretary. After graduating from Sigourney High School, I plan to attend Iowa State University to major in agriculture business. I'm the daughter of Ryan and Michelle Clarahan, and my chapter advisor is Mr. Jerry Driscoll. My principal is Mrs. Shannon Webb, and my superintendent is Mr. Kevin Hatfield. Your star finalist in the area of agribusiness, please join me in congratulating Reagan Clarahan. Hello, my name is Lily Henry, and I proudly represent the Central Line FFA chapter. I am the owner of LH Horse Training Services, where I specialize in training and selling quarter horses for all ages. I found interest in horses from my neighbors who are experienced horse trainers. I initially started my business by purchasing a green broke horse at a low price and successfully selling it for a profit. As time went on, my business began to grow, allowing me to attract more clients and expand my training services. Have had 63 different clients and trained over 81 horses. I offer a comprehensive range of services from training in disciplines such as breakaway, barrels, goat tying, header, healer, halter, break yearlings, desensitized foals, as well as providing tune-ups for horses in need. Through continued passion, dedication, and commitment, I look forward to furthering my impact in the horse training community. I have served as many chapter offices, including president my senior year. I was the national proficiency state runner-up for my equine entrepreneurship and have also participated in many contests while on FFA. After graduating, I plan to attend Ferry School to expand my skill set and offer a new service to my clients. I am also pursuing an associate's degree in applied science and agriculture at Northwest Iowa Community College. I am the daughter of Mark and Carol Henry. My chapter advisors are Davis Dystermars, Jason Engelman, Rochelle Herbert, and Teresa Huggendorn. My high school principal is Jason Engelman, and my superintendent is Brent Dorr. Your star finalist in the area of agribusiness, please join me in congratulating Lily Henry. Hi, my name is Karen Odins and I'm a member of the George Interlock FFA chapter. I got my certification in becoming a certified practitioner with Magnoid, and from there I have started up my own business called TLC Magnoid. I got introduced to Magnoid while being in the equine barrel racing industry. I have had it done on my horses numerous times, and I have watched people do it at different events. It was something that truly interests me, and I wanted to be able to help others and their animals as well as my own. My business has grown a lot over the past two years, and I have more than doubled my clientele since I started. It helped that I already had my name out there in the barrel racing and equine industry to help promote my business. 
I also had close friends who showed animals other than the horses, which helped to get my name out in more areas than just the equine world. I'm currently serving as the chapter vice president, and I received my academic achievement award. After graduation, I plan on attending the University of Sioux Falls to continue my education in the area of radiologic technology. I hope to get my bachelor's degree in that field and continue to strive to help those around me. I'm the daughter of Chad and Stacey Sneller and Nick and Patrice Odens. My chapter advisor is Miranda Dreesen, my high school principal is Tyler Granzer, and my superintendent is Thomas Luxford. Your star finalist in the area of agribusiness, please join me in congratulating Taryn Odens. My name is Jordan Everett, and I'm a member of the Central Community FFA. I buy and sell farm equipment as part of my business called Jordan Sales. I started my business at the age of 15 after my FFA advisor, Mrs. Bond, recommended me to start my own business due to my extensive knowledge of farm equipment. I started out operating my business by purchasing one piece of equipment, which was a new idea, manure spreader. Now I have over 75 pieces of equipment in my inventory to resell. Time management communication, and cooperation with customers have contributed to all the successes of my business. I am currently serving as a Central Community FFA Treasurer, and I won the State Proficiency Area of Ag Services. After graduation, I plan on attending Hawkeye Community College to accomplish a degree in business, along with growing my business, Jordan Sales. I am the son of Joel and Shannon Everett. My advisor is Mrs. Megan Bond. My high school principal is Mr. Aaron Reinhardt, and my superintendent is Mr. Nick Trenkamp. Your star finalist in the area of agribusiness, please join me in congratulating Jordan Everett. Your 2024 star in agribusiness is Jordan Everett from the Central Community FFA Chapter. Jordan's passion for buying and selling farm equipment has resulted in over 75 pieces of equipment in his inventory to resell. Jordan has gained a lot of sales experience and confidence working with all of his customers who have con contributed to the success of his business, Jordan Sales. Let's give Jordan one more round of applause. Hi, my name is Libby Hagman, and I'm a member of the Beckman Catholic FFA chapter at Dyersville. I research various issues in agriculture and present my findings to the state and national agri-science fairs. I became interested in agri-science while seeing how others were solving real-world problems. Through my research, I learned how to use ANOVAs, communicate my projects, and use new types of equipment each year. So far in my projects, I've worked with scours and calves, compaction of soil types, and my most recent project involving cattle bedding and hygiene. My research and the skills that I've gained can be used to help farmers and agriculturists develop new ideas and technologies in the egg industry. I'm a two-time National Agri-Science Qualifier, and I'm the 2024 Agri-Science Integrated Systems Proficiency winner. I'm currently serving as my chapter president. After graduation in 2025, I plan on attending a veterinarian technician program in Iowa. I'm the daughter of Bob and Amy Hageman. My chapter advisor is Mrs. Don Mauser. My high school principal is Mr. Marcel Kotkinski. 
My school chaplain is Father Tyler Raymond. My superintendent is Mrs. Kathy Walls. Your star finalist in the area of agri-science. Please join me in congratulating Libby Hageman. Hi, my name is William Lick and I'm a Roland Story FFA chapter member. I work at the Turfgrass Research and Management Farm at the Iowa State Horticulture Research Farm. I became interested in agri-science through my experiences with my 4-H agriculture and natural resources projects. In my project, I've learned a ton of things about how to grow different types of turf grass, uh, such as treatments used, the methods used, and how to care for the equipment that is used. The people who are most directly affected by the research I take are the students who are running the project for their degrees and the companies that work with the university to help test their products. I have recently received my state degree, and I have been a part of a poultry judging team that placed 10th in state. After graduation, I plan on attending Iowa State University to pursue a degree in agronomy. I'm the son of Mark and Malia Licht. My chapter advisor is Caitlin Zimmerman. My high school principal is Andrew McQuillan, and my superintendent is Matt Patton. Your star finalist in the area of agri-science, please join me in congratulating William Licht. Hi, my name is Ben Woodall, and I'm a member of the South O'Brien FFA chapter. My agri-science SAE projects consisted of researching the moisture needs of emerging soybeans and working at the Northwest Research Farm for Iowa State University. I became interested in agri-science through South O'Brien Science Fair. My freshman year, I conducted soybean trials that analyzed the impact of water quantity on soybean emergence. Through this research project, I learned about the growth patterns of soybeans, experiment design, and data analysis skills. This past summer, I worked at Northwest Iowa State Research and Demonstration Farm, where my responsibilities included collecting data, maintaining research plots, and helping to set up field days. This experience expanded my knowledge of high-level research that benefits crop producers throughout Iowa. I served as our FFA chapter's vice president in 2023 earned third place in the 2021 State Agri-Science Fair, received the State FFA Academic Achievement Award, and was a member of our national land judging team. I plan to attend Morningside University this upcoming fall to major in agronomy. I'm the son of Phil and Beth Woodall. My chapter advisor is Mr. Eric Helm. Your star finalist in the area of agri-science, please join me in congratulating Benjamin Woodall. Hello, my name is Cole Wessel, and I'm a member of the North Scott FFA chapter. Over the past three years, I have actively participated in various research projects, conducting scientific experiments in the categories of food products and processing and social science. My first two projects focused on addressing food waste issues within the agriculture industry. This year, my social science project aimed to assess job stress among dairy farmers. My interest in the agri-science fair sparked during my sophomore year, when my agriculture teacher introduced me to participating in a science fair as a competition. Through my research projects over the past two years, I immersed myself in the research process, learning valuable skills such as scientific research procedure, scheduling, teamwork, and unbiased analysis. In both of my completed projects, the main beneficiaries were the food science industry, with the first project applying to the retail sector and the second benefiting consumers. This past year, I had the privilege of serving as the Iowa FA State Officer Nominating Committee Chair. Additionally, I earned fourth place and gold twice to the National Agri-Science Fair in the category of food products and processing systems. After graduation, I plan on attending Iowa State University and majoring in agronomy with a minor in agriculture business. I'm the son of Brian and Heather Wessel, my chapter advisors are Mr. Jacob Hunter, Ms. Emily Cruz, and Ms. Courtney Wiedemann. My high school principal is Mr. Shane Kanucky, and my superintendent is Mr. Joe Studham. Your star finalist in the area of agri-science, please join me in congratulating Cole Wessel. Your 2024 star in agri-science is Cole Wessel of the North Scott FFA chapter. With the 
passion for science and agriculture, he has conducted experiments in the categories of food products and processing, addressing food waste issues as well as social science, focusing on the stress among dairy farmers. Through the years, he, Cole has participated in various science fairs and immersed himself in the research projects. Let's congratulate Cole Wessel one more time. The finalists in the area of Ag Placement are... Hi, my name is Ethan Graber, and I'm a member of the Mount Pleasant FFA chapter. In my unpaid placement cattle production SAE, I assist my father and grandfather in the production of their commercial cow-calf operation, where I help to manage and improve their herd through nutrients and genetics. Through my time in my SAE project, I have invested over 1,594 hours into cattle production. Whether it be feeding, doctoring, breeding, or just overall taking good care of the cows. My responsibilities in the operation consist of artificially inseminating our females for genetic improvement, as well as helping to deliver these calves. I help to manage the facilities on the operation, and I also help to make nutritional decisions for the animals. The skills I've learned will greatly benefit me in my future, as it has taught me how to be a critical thinker and a problem solver, which you will need for everyday life. I also plan to have cows of my own someday, so the experiences I have had in my project will help me along the way in my endeavors. I was recently elected as the South Subdistrict Vice President of the Southeast District and will serve through 2025 in my term. I have also been honored to have received Brownfield's Male Ag Student of the Year in 2022 for my involvement and commitment towards FA, FFA and my SAE project. After graduation, I plan to attend Black Hawk East for two years to study ag production technology before transferring to Iowa State University and majoring in ag education to eventually become an ag teacher and raise club calves and lambs on the side. I'm the son of Kendall and Shelley Graber my chapter advisor is Mr. Brady Martin, my high school principal is Mr. Mike Wilson, and my superintendent is Mr. John Henriksen. Your star finalist in the area of ag placement, please join me in congratulating Ethan Graber. Hello, my name is Keaton Funk, and I'm a member of the Central Lion FFA chapter. I work on my family's farm where I have had two SAE projects, one being swine production placement and the other being grain production placement. My swine production project, I invested a total of 1,874 hours and my responsibilities included maintaining the pig's health, ensuring proper living conditions, keeping records, and disinfecting and cleaning the equipment in the barn. For my grain production project, I invested a total of 3,754 hours. I did field work such as strip tilling, side dressing, combining, and stock chopping. I also did other jobs such as maintaining equipment, hauling grain, and mowing and spraying around fields. The skills I learned in both projects will contribute to my future career, which is to buy into my family's farming operation, which consists of 7,400 pigs and 1,371 acres of land. I hope to expand the farm as well by picking up ground on my own to farm and by purchasing some swine confinements as well. I am currently serving as vice president for our FFA chapter and have one state with both my swine production and grain production SAE projects. 
After graduation, I plan to attend Iowa Lakes Community College and major in agricultural business. I am the son of Ryan and Christy Funk. My chapter advisors are Davis Dystermars, Jason Engelman, Rochelle Herbert, and Therese Hogendorn. My high school principal is Jason Engelman, and my superintendent is Brent Jordan. Your star finalist in the area of ag placement, please join me in congratulating Keaton Funk. Hi, my name is Tori Boonin, and I'm the member of the New Hampton FFA chapter. I assist my parents in managing an equine breeding, foaling, training, and selling program called Farm Performance Horses. I have invested over 2,900 hours into my project. I'm responsible for overseeing changes in all the horses, assisting in daily tasks such as feeding, watering, and cleaning stalls. In the spring and fall, my duties require me to help foal and breed mares. Watching for changes in this large amount of horses has allowed me to understand the importance of little details. Whether this is looking for behavioral change, physical change, or eating changes will contribute immensely to my future career as a nurse. I currently served as a chapter president from 2023 to 2024. I received my first place equine science proficiency award at the 2023 Iowa FFA Leadership Conference. After graduation, I plan to attend South Dakota State University to major in nursing. I'm the daughter of Billy and Jennifer Bierman. My chapter advisor is Ms. Rachel Baller. My high school principal is Mr. Matt Manson, and my superintendent is Mr. Jay Jurens. Your star finalist in the area of ag placement, please join me in congratulating Tori Bierman. Hello, my name is Shaylin Weeman, and I am a member of the Makokota FFA chapter. Through my FFA experience, I have sustained an SAE and beef production placement. I have focused on documenting my time on my family beef production operation with the intentions of taking ownership after graduation. I have invested a total of 1,984 hours into my SAE. During my beef placement, I have completed morning and evening feedings, modern calf health, assisted cows with birth, selected genetics to bring back to the herd, and other tasks as needed. These skills will help me as I take over my family farming operation. Throughout FFA, I have served on the Makokota FFA officer team as the Sentinel, participated in livestock evaluation, agronomy, and farm business management. I have also volunteered throughout various chapter activities and led groups for our local Ag Safety Day. After graduation, I plan on attending artificial insemination schooling with the intent of going to embryo transfer school after. I am the daughter of Shannon Johnson and Cody Weeman. My chapter advisor is Cassie Miller and my high school principal is Mark Burbeck and my Superintendent is Tara Notes. Your star finalist in the area of ag placement. Please join me in congratulating Shaylin Weeman. Hi, my name is Mathis Knobloch and I am a member of the West Lion FFA chapter. I work on my family farm, JRT Focus Farm raising swine and beef. I have invested 4,324 hours into my SAE. Some responsibilities I have at my workplace include choring finishers, vaccinating piglets, and loading market hogs. One skill I have learned that will contribute to my future career is being able to recognize sick pigs before their health immensely declines and treat them accordingly. In FFA, I am a state second place swine placement proficiency award winner, and I am receiving my state degree this year. After graduation, I plan on attending Lake Area Technical College for Agricultural Precision Technology. I am the son of Thad and Wendy Knobloch. My chapter advisors are Catherine Newhouse and Shauna Steiner. 
My high school principal is Doug Jiskew, and my superintendent is Sean Treeman. Your star finalist in the area of ag placement, please join me in congratulating Mathis Knobloch. Hi, my name is Cody Hager, and I am a member of the Maquoketa Valley FFA chapter. My SAE involves working on and helping manage our family farm consisting of dairy and beef cattle, as well as corn, soybeans, and alfalfa. I have productively invested a total of 5,554 hours managing both a dairy and beef herd. My responsibilities include milking cows, feeding cattle, and giving vaccinations when needed. I assist with field work by running the strip till, planting, spraying, chopping silage, and running a grain cart during harvest on our 2,000 acres of tillable land. I milk 250 dairy cows while feeding out bottle calves and raising our own replacement heifers. I also care for 150 stock cows and cow-calf pairs while feeding out calves to market and saving a few as replacement heifers. Throughout the course of my SAE, I have grown my problem solving and time management skills that will benefit me in my future as I begin purchasing my own assets. I am currently serving as chapter vice president and was the 2023 state runner up in the diversified livestock proficiency area. After graduation this May, I plan to enter the workforce by continuing to work at Hager Farms full time while expanding my SAE duties on a daily basis. I am the son of Dan and Donna Hager. My chapter advisor is Ms. Haley Lau. My high school principal is Mr. Troy Osterhaus and my superintendent is Mr. Dave Hager. Your star finalist in the area of ag placement, please join me in congratulating Cody Hager. <laughs> and now your 2024 star in ag placement is Mathis Knobloch of the West Lion FFA chapter. Mathis raises swine and beef on his family farm, JRT Focus Farm. From choring to vaccinating, he has learned many skills that will contribute to his future career. He plans to earn a degree in agricultural precision technology. Let's give your 2024 star in ag placement, Mathis Knobloch, one more round of applause. Finalists in the area of ag production are. Hi, my name is Skylar Coffey and I am a member of the Mormon Trail FFA chapter. I raise, market, and sell show cattle of several breeds as part of my SAE. I got started with my SAE when I began showing miniature Hereford cattle at the age of eight and officially started managing my herd in 2018, the assistance of my parents. My program began with only miniature Hereford cattle but over the years, as I have shown different breeds, I have added to my herd. Recently, I sold the miniature Hereford herd to make room for new breeds. I now have nine cows, and my herd consists of Angus, Maine, Kianina, and Limousine cattle. I have shown in local, state, and national shows with my cattle and raised several champions. My future plans with my program are to flush some of my cows, rebuild my herd with new genetics, and continue to sell high-quality show cattle. 
I am currently serving as my chapter president and have competed and placed in several livestock judging contests through FFA. After graduation, I plan on attending Iowa State University and majoring in animal science with an emphasis on animal reproduction. I am the daughter of Scott and Leanne Coffey. My chapter advisor is Cassie Moore. My high school principal is Becky Streit and my superintendent is Brad Breon. Your star finalist in the area of ag production, please join me in congratulating Skylar Coffey. My name is Ellie Blackbird and I'm a member of the Osceola Big Chief FFA chapter. My diversified livestock entrepreneurship includes cattle and goat production. I raise, show, and sell Sim Angus cattle as well as meat goats as a part of my SAE. I got started with beef production alongside my uncle and then added goats to my operation. With the help of the Ruby family, I've grown my overall knowledge and experience in both areas. I currently have 14 cows and one bull in my cattle herd. I buy and sell a breeding doe to show every year. In the next year, I plan to continue growing my cattle and goat operations. I served as a South Central District FFA reporter this past year and was the 2023 state winner of the Diversified Livestock Production Proficiency. After graduation, I will attend Iowa State University and double major in animal science and agricultural business. I am the daughter of Ty and Dee Blackbird. My advisor is Mrs. Brandy Boyd. My high school principals are Mr. Joe Blazovich and Miss Ruby Clyde. My superintendent is Mr. Kurt DeVore. I would like to thank my family, Scott, Deb, Dan, and Courtney May, Casey Brown, Amy Ewing, and Nate Leslie Creed and Parker Ruby for their continuous support of me and my SAE projects. Your star finalist in the area of ag production, please join me in congratulating Ellie Blackford. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Booth and I am a member of the IKM Manning FFA chapter. My SAE is raising, producing, and purchasing show lambs. I'm a third generation sheep producer and my family has been raising sheep for over 60 years. I began working with sheep when I was very young and began showing when I was seven years old. When I joined FFA, I decided to purchase a group of 11 breeding ewes from Ohio in 2020. I have since lambed them out for the past four years, also purchasing more ewes along the way. My flock has grown over the last four years to a total of 20 ewes. In 2022, I decided to add a different breed to my flock, including South Downs. I bought my first South Down ewe in 2022 and added two more South Downs in 2023. I just finished slamming my first South Down lambs in March of 2024. In total, I have grown my ewe flock from the original 11 ewes I purchased in 2020 to 20 ewes during the 2023 production cycle. I look forward to working with other producers to continue to grow my flock and work with other FFA members to get their own started. In the sheep industry, I am currently serving as the IKM Manning FFA chapter president and I just finished up my year of service as a Southwest Iowa FFA District Vice President. I was also the 2023 Iowa FFA State winner in sheep production proficiency and received a gold rating at the National FFA Proficiency Judging. After graduation, I plan to attend Kansas State University and plan to major in animal science with a focus on small ruminant production and genetics. I am the daughter of Ben and Beth Booth, my FFA advisor is Mr. Ben Booth. My high school principals are Mr. Nolan Shanks and Mr. Corey McCarville. My superintendent is Mr. Trevor Miller. Your star finalist in the area of ag production, please join me in congratulating Brooklyn Booth. Hello, my name is Ellen Nailman and I am a member of the West Line FFA chapter. In my SAE, I grow and sell pumpkins and gourds. I acquired my pumpkin and gourd business from my older sister in 2020. 
Over the past four years, I have sold or donated 745 pumpkins and 325 gourds. A large factor that contributed to my success was the help and support I received from my family. My future plans are to continue my business until I can turn it over to my little brother. I'm currently serving as our chapter president, and last year I got first place in state with my proficiency in specialty crop production. After graduation, I plan on attending South Dakota State University and majoring in elementary education. I am the daughter of Mark and Colleen Roman. My chapter advisors are Catherine Newhouse and Shauna Steiner. My high school principal is Doug Jeskut, and my superintendent is Sean Creeman. Your star finalist in the area of ag production, please join me in congratulating Ellen Roman. Hi, my name is Jeremiah Rudisky. I am a member of the Decora FFA chapter. I operate a beef production operation where I have since the head of registered and commercial cattle. I produce market and breeding stock animals to both grow my herd and make a profit. At the age of one month, I was given a crossbred heifer, and from there, I've grown my herd to what it is today. I currently have 44 breeding cows and heifers, two bulls, and 14 commercial feeder calves. I have also been able to buy some of my own equipment to better my operation. I've been buying different minerals and feeds to make my cattle more efficient. My future plan for this operation is to grow enough to turn it into a full-time occupation. I would also like to expand my feedlot and potentially buy more cattle to fill it. I would also like to get more breeding stock and calves and more cows. In FFA, I competed at the state level in job interview and got third at state with my conduct of meetings team my freshman year. After graduation, I will be attending Buena Vista University to study agricultural business and animal science, as well as playing soccer at the collegiate level. I'm the son of James and Amy Rudisky. My chapter advisor is Miss Joni Brubold. My high school principal is Mr. Brad Hurst. My activities director is Mr. Adam Riley, and my superintendent is Dr. Tim Cronin. Your star finalist in the area of ag production Please join me in congratulating Jeremiah Radisky. Hi, my name is Taylor Quaid and I am a member of the Charles City FFA chapter. My SAE includes a breeding beef herd, raising, showing, and marketing beef cattle and swine, and growing and selling sweet corn, as part of my business called BTR Sweet Corn. I started my operations as a 4-H member showing cattle and swine at the county fair and growing corn to sell at the end of summer. My current SAE program includes two bred cows and a prospect breeding heifer, one market beef to be sold, and six swine to raise and sell. It also includes two acres of ground to be planted and used for my sweet corn business. My plans for my operation include purchasing more heifers for my breeding beef herd raising and selling more market beef and swine, and expanding my selling season by planting more sweet corn. I am currently serving as chapter president and was on the 2023 state runner-up Ag Issues and Perceptions team. After graduation, I plan on attending North Iowa Area Community College to complete my general education, then transferring to Iowa State University to major in animal science and minor in agriculture sales. I am the daughter of Mike and Tammy Quaid. My chapter advisors are Brett Spurgeon, Michelle Dolman, and Jim Lumberg. My high school principal is Jeremiah Bliss, and my superintendent is Dr. Ann Lundquist. Your star finalist in the area of ag production, please join me in congratulating Taylor Quaid. Your 2024 star in ag production is Jeremiah Radisky from Decora FFA. <laughs> Jeremiah operates a 60 head beef operation with 44 breeding cows and heifers, two bulls and 14 commercial feeder calves. He plans to grow his operation both with his feedlot and breeding stock. Jeremiah plans to attend Buena Vista University to study agriculture business and animal science. 
Let's give another round of applause for our 2024 star in agri-production, Jeremiah Radiski. like to thank you and Beck Tybridge for your continued support of the Stars Over Iowa pageant. Your support allows our FFA members to learn more about agriculture through their supervised agriculture experiences and gain skills they will use in the next gener as they are the next generation of leaders in our industry. I'd like to present you with this conference gift as our token of our appreciation. so busy with all the state convention prep so I hope you guys don't mind but we're gonna take a little bit of time to write some thank yous that we need to catch up on. Josie, the team is yours. Thank you South Central District for encouraging me to stay away for 40 hours straight because I was invited to the FFA for making sure that my gas tank is never full. Thank you, Iowa FFA, for making sure my wardrobe is filled with blue and gold and blue and gold and blue and gold. singing Toby Keith songs, or you could at least be on pitch. Hey, I know some FFA members that are pretty good at singing. Maybe we could invite them to the next rodeo. Please help me in welcoming our Iowa FFA chorus, sponsored by Buena Vista University and directed under Christopher Phelan.
Relay Chorus, one last round of applause. The secretary's desk has a few announcements at this time. Would Emma Rusk and the advisor from Rock Rapids please report to the convention office. Chapter packets are available for pickup at the registration desk. And finally, if you've lost Ellsworth keys, a bracelet, or a pair of glasses, you can find those at the secretary's desk. Thank you. Over the past year, these members have worked hard to showcase their skills and abilities all over the state. Let's take time to congratulate our Ag Skills CDE winners. The Ag Biotechnology CDE is sponsored by Darling Ingredients. Ch champion individual in the Ag Biotechnology event is Kelsey Tibb from South Winnesheek. <laughs> champion team in the Ag Bi Biotechnology event is South Winnesheek. Communications is sponsored by the Iowa FFA Gold Standard Partners through the Iowa FFA Foundation. Champion team in the Ag Communications event is Montezuma FFA. The Ag Mechanics Career Development event was sponsored by Titan Machinery. The event was held at the Iowa State University 450 Farm on June 8th, 2023. The champion individual is Kate Volowski of Ben Community FFA Chapter at Van Horn. And the champion team is from the Newton FFA Chapter. The Ag Sales CDE is sponsored by Nationwide champion individual in ag sales from Montezuma, Cameron Brennan. The champion team in ag sales, Montezuma FFA. The agronomy career development event was sponsored by Pivot Bio. The event was held at Iowa State University on June 8th, 2023. The champion individual is Colin Zupke from the Sumner Fredericksburg FFA chapter. The champion team is the Newton FFA chapter. The Dairy Cattle Career Development Event was made possible through the Iowa FFA Foundation and the Youth Dairy Classic Exhibitors. The event was held in Manchester on September 8th, 2023. The champion individual is Kelsey Timp from the South Winnishik FFA chapter at Kelmar. And the champion team is the South Winnishik FFA chapter at Kelmar. Egg Discussion Meet is sponsored by the Iowa Farm Bureau Federation. Chapters receiving gold are West Marshall's Sierra Randall, Bondurant Farrar, Bridget Johnson, South Hamilton, Amanda Ostrom, and Wilton FFA, JC Weiss. The third place individual is from South Hamilton, Amanda Ostrom. The second place individual is from West Marshall, Sierra Randall. And the first place individual is Bridget Johnson from Bondurant Farrar. Farm Business Management is sponsored by Hearst Farm Management. The champion individual in Farm Business Management from Montezuma, Bryson Stockman. The champion team in Farm Business Management Montezuma FFA. The food
Food Science Career Development event was sponsored by Iowa FFA Gold Standard Partners through the Iowa FFA Foundation. The event was held at Iowa State University on June 8, 2023. The champion individual is Colby Oldenkamp from the Sioux Center FFA chapter. The, the champion team was Sioux Center. The horse judging career development event was made possible through the Iowa FFA Gold Standard Partners through the Iowa FFA Foundation. The event was held at Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids on June 13th, 2023. The champion individual is Tori Bierman of New Hampton FFA Chapter. And the champion team is Davis County FFA Chapter at Bloomfield. The Livestock Judging Career Development event was sponsored by the Iowa State University Block and Bridal Club. The event was held at Iowa State University on August 26, 2023. The champion individual is Delaney Angler of Calamus Wheatland FFA. And the champion team is the Calamus Wheatland FFA chapter. Marketing plan is sponsored by the Iowa FFA Gold Standard Partners through the Iowa FFA Foundation. Your champion team in the marketing plan event was Osage FFA. The Meats Judging Career Development event was sponsored through the Iowa Pork Producers Association. The event was held at Iowa State University on August 26, 2023. The champion individual is Breely Rasmussen from South O'Brien FFA. The champion team was South O'Brien FFA chapter. Milk Quality and Products Career Development Event was sponsored by Iowa FFA Gold Standard Partners through the Iowa FFA Foundation. The event was held in Manchester on September 8, 2023. The champion individual is Blair Schrepp from Central Community FFA Chapter at El Cater. And the champion team is Little Switzerland FFA Chapter at Wakan. Poultry Evaluation CDE is sponsored by the North Central Poultry Association and the Iowa Egg Camp Council. The champion individual in the poultry evaluation event was Morgan Lichty from Waco FFA. The champion team in the poultry evaluation event is Waco FFA Chapter at Wayland. The Soils Evaluation Career Development Event is sponsored by the Heartland Co-op. The event was held at Iowa State University on October 21st, 2023. The champion individual is William Hoops of the Louisa Muscatine FFA Chapter. And the champion team is Fairfield FFA. The Veterinary Science Career Development Event is sponsored by the Iowa FFA Gold Standard Partners through the Iowa FFA Foundation. The event was held at Iowa State University on June 8, 2023. The champion individual is Trinity Barth of Des Moines FFA Chapter. And your champion team is the Des Moines FFA Chapter. Let's give a final round of applause to this year's Agricultural Skills Career Development event winners and thank the Iowa FFA Foundation for their continued support. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paperboy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here?
See, Lizzie, if you want to be a real cowboy, you got to learn how to rope. I don't think I have the talent to do that. That sure is a cool talent, J.D., but I know some SSA members with their some talents of their own. Please help me in welcoming to the stage this year's talent winner, Annabelle Hedges from the Minneapolis SSA chapter, sponsored by the Iowa SSA alumni and supporters. Closely, cause no one told me that you deserve to know that in this world you are not beholden, you do not owe them your body and your soul. All the youth in the world will not save you from falling over. All the truth in the world is too precious to be stolen. Let's give another round of applause for our first place talent winner, Annabelle Hedges from the Minneapolis chapter. Welcome to Ames, W, we're in Ames. E, Eek, Ames, L, love Ames, C, come on. You're gonna be in Ames. M, maybe we should go to convention. <laughs> e, Olivia. 
everyone. My name is Luke Garris. And I'm Bridget Johnson. I met Holly about three years ago through Iowa 4-H State Council. I remember walking into the room of our first retreat. I was greeted by the warmest smile and kindest spirit. Holly always found a way to take every task handed to us and fill it with joy. I knew walking away from that weekend, I had found a leader that I wanted to be like. Kind, caring, compassionate, and a pretty good swing dancing partner. Being around Holly, the four things that describe her the best are hardworking, a leader, follower of Christ, and her great scheduling skills. Whether that be feeding her ducks, checking her emails, setting up dances, and working for this great organization. She makes sure to give it her all and to do the task at hand to the best of her ability. When she isn't dedicating her time to her schooling or FFA, She's encouraging others to be true to who they are. Please help us in, in introducing our best friend and favorite swing dance partner, your 2023-2024 Iowa, Iowa State FFA State, State President, President, Holly Schmidt. Schmidt. When I was little, swim meets at the Kelmer Swimming Pool dominated my summers. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, my sister and I would pack up piles of beach towels, sunblock, and of course snacks before departing on our weekly swim competition against, against other local teams. The events we participated in were sometimes only a few races apart. After each race, we ran as fast as we could back to our camp to take a break before the next event. Immediately, the cooler flew open and we were stuffing our faces full of the best swim meat snacks. Grandma Kathy's no-bake cookies, grapes, peanut butter sandwiches, and half-melted Mr. Freezies. As I was finishing a cookie from the plastic Tupperware, my next event was called. I raced back down to the pool deck, lined up at the starting blocks, and was ready to go. Swimmers, step up. Take your mark, go. As I was making waves in the pool, my stomach began to churn. All the food I had crammed in my mouth just moments before was making me feel not so great about the meters of water I had left in front of me. At that moment, I wished I had used the brakes I had more wisely. Whether it's a swim meet, an FFA contest, or a livestock show, sometimes we get so caught up in the next big thing coming our way that we forget to make the downtime we have meaningful. Although opportunities are meant to be taken, without a moment to pause and reflect on why we're doing something, it can be challenging to serve others well with the opportunities we have. Looking back, there is no doubt I didn't perform to the best of my ability during my swim meet. I probably shouldn't have eaten all those snacks right before getting in the pool. Instead, I could have drank water, ate a healthy snack, or stretched before my next race. I didn't use the breaks I had wisely. My sour swim meet experience reminds me of a pitcher. We're all like this pitcher. We can be very full, or very empty. When we put our time and energy into something, we pour out of our pitcher and into that thing. During my swim meet, I poured out of my pitcher and into my team. However, I didn't pour back into myself during my break. 
You can pour into your friends. Your football team. Your FFA events. Or maybe your next dance contest. But eventually, you run out of water in your pitcher. Suddenly, you can't put the time or energy into the thing you want to anymore. How can you pour into others when you are empty? This past year, serving as your state president, I learned what happens when you run out of water in your pitcher. You can feel burnt out. You can feel like you no longer belong, and sometimes you can feel like you want to quit. This past year, I poured out of my pitcher a lot. I got to travel across the state and meet hundreds of awesome FFA members like you. I got to see you succeed in contests, community events, and interviews. I got to see what makes the Iowa FFA truly special. But in all my travels and events this year, I forgot to seek out ways to pour back into my pitcher. While I was constantly pouring into others, I was neglecting to pour into myself. In 2024, our society praises a busy and demanding schedule, always saying yes to more and more. If you're not busy, you're not doing enough. And if you're not stressed and anxiety ridden, you aren't taking your job seriously. These are lies. And this past year, I listened to these lies instead of what I needed to be successful. It wasn't until the Ignite, Amplify, and Transform conference where I realized I needed to take a step back and reflect on why I was here. During the Ignite conference, I got to hang out with some pretty cool 7th, 8th, and 9th grade FFA members. One of the activities we did was to create a paper square that represented who we were. Members drew their favorite foods, hobbies, faith, and other symbols that represented what made them unique. The whole point of the paper square activity was to show that you were made for a purpose, on purpose, just as you are. These members reminded me that when I wasn't pouring back into myself, it was really hard to live up to my purpose as a state officer. Let's think about what this looks like in your life. After a school project, do you take time to reflect on what went well and what you can improve on? After a stressful competition, do you take time to be proud of the things you have already accomplished? Do you jump right into the next activity without ever remembering about why you're doing it? Do you feel burnt out of something you were once passionate about because you just need a break? Maybe you feel like you don't need a break because you can push through. How's that going for you? When my picture was empty, it was really hard to show up for you all. Luckily, I had a pretty amazing support system who realized I was struggling and helped refill my pitcher. My old teammates reminded me of the passion I had for the FFA and what the future could hold. They refilled my pitcher with happy memories, encouraging notes, and positive texts throughout the year. After a fall chapter visit, Laura from the Carroll area FFA chapter and I decided to take an extra hour to sit down and have lunch together. Unknowingly, Laura refilled my pitcher by reminding me of the importance of community and taking a moment to slow down. Bridget and Elena allowed me to pursue my non-FFA passions this year, and together we started a country swing dancing club at Iowa State. Although I was sometimes gone for FFA events, they allowed me to express myself in a fun and safe community. My dad helped me feel valuable on the farm, even though I wasn't always physically there. My dad reminded me that the FFA is an agricultural organization at heart. 
Katie from the Siblio Cheating FFA chapter refilled my pitcher over a shared piece of pie at Perkins. Katie reminded me that the next generation of FFA members is something to be proud of and that we have a bright future ahead. My brothers and sisters were always excited when I came home to see them, even when I couldn't be there for long. They reminded me how important it is to value the person over the position they hold. We have to take the opportunity to refill our pitchers so that we can continue pouring into others. And sometimes we need the help of other people, just like my family and friends helped me this last year. The last six years, I have been running full speed ahead in this blue corduroy jacket. I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you who has helped get me here, who has encouraged me, who has taught me more about life. You have all helped fill up my pitcher this past year. These last two years serving you have truly been some of the best in my life. And although I love this blue jacket and all the people it comes with, it is time for me to take a moment to pause, reflect, and refill for my next adventure. And you know what? That's okay. Don't get caught up in the lies of this world that say you are not doing life right if you are not going 100 miles an hour. Do what is best for you so that you can do what is best for other people. Iowa FFA, it's time to take a break and refill your pitcher. Josie, do I match? I'm not sure how well the two khakis go together, but it's a cute sweatshirt. Yeah, you want to know where I found it? Where? The alumni store. It's located across from Hilton Coliseum at the Sheenan Building. do you feel about going on your next shopping spree? The following are winners of a gift card. Please come to the secretary's desk to claim your prize. Bryn Kemmerer from West Marshall. Isabel Demmer from West Delaware. Jalen Hillers of West Delaware. Nia Evans from Jessup. Brooklyn Heesh of the Clear Lake FFA chapter and Molly Stamp from AHSTW. Congratulations. I'm Lizzie Hadley. And I'm Annabelle Newton. I'm the South Central State Vice President. And I'm the Northeast State Vice President. And we're FFA speaking. You belong with me by Taylor Swift. <laughs> but she wears short skirts. I wear t-shirts. She's cheer captain. And I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you are looking for has been here the, the whole time. time. I joined FFA to help me find my voice. I joined FFA because it's where I found my fire. I joined FFA because I wanted to give back to an organization that has provided me with so much. I joined FFA to help me find my place in agriculture. I joined FFA to feel more connected to the largest industry in the world. 
I joined FFA because it was a place that I could be my authentic self. I joined FFA to find other people who had similar passions as me. The Iowa degree is the highest degree the state can bestow upon its members. These members completed at least two years of agricultural instruction, participated in activities above the chapter level, earned and productively invested at least $1,500 in their supervised agricultural experience project, and maintained adequate grades. This year, we are excited to honor 793 members who are recipients of this degree. For 38 years, the Iowa Degree Program has been sponsored by Corteva AgriScience Pioneer Brand Seeds through the Iowa FFA Foundation. Madam Secretary, what have you to report considering candidates that are eligible for this degree? I am pleased to submit the names of 793 candidates who have been selected by the State Executive Committee to receive their Iowa FFA degree. Our Constitution sets up minimum qualifications which must be met before candidates are eligible for election to this degree. Madam Advisor, have you carefully examined and reviewed the records of these candidates? I have, Madam President, and found all candidates fully qualified. We will now proceed to raise these members to the Iowa FFA degree. Will the candidates please rise? The state FFA degree is the highest degree our association can bestow. Some of you will one day earn the coveted golden key of the American FFA degree. We urge you to maintain throughout your adult lives the same enthusiasm and dedication that you bring to this ceremony today. It is a great honor to be nominated for the Iowa FFA degree. It is still a greater honor to be selected for this degree by your fellow members of the Iowa FFA Association. Your new achievement brings you greater honors as well as additional responsibilities. You have widened the field of your service and influence in the strengthening of agriculture, the most basic industry of our nation. You have been urged to advance toward higher degrees in the FFA. We commend you for your accomplishments and encourage you to work toward newer and higher goals in our organization and in your chosen occupation. In meeting the requirements of the Green Hand and Chapter FFA degrees, you were told that the golden charm of the state FFA degree was awaiting you. The bronze emblem of the Green Hand gave way to the silver emblem of the Chapter FFA degree charm, which now has evolved into this golden charm. This is a symbol of growth and development in your chosen occupation. May the permanence of the rare and golden qualities of the emblem be a constant reminder of the strength of your education and the worthiness of your achievement. Therefore, on behalf of the Iowa FFA Association, I confer upon you the state FFA degree with all of its honors and privileges and present to you this charm, the emblem of the degree. Congratulations. I joined FFA to help me find my voice. I joined FFA because it's where I found my fire. I joined FFA because I wanted to give back to an organization that has provided me with so much. 
I joined FFA to help me find my place in agriculture. I joined FFA to feel more connected to the largest industry in the world. I joined FFA because it was a place that I could be my authentic self. I joined FFA to find other people who had similar passions as me. Hey y'all, my name is Josie and you're watching the 96 Iowa FFA Leadership Conference. Hey y'all, I'm Emma and you're watching State Convention. Joining us today is Ann Leonard of Corteva AgriScience Pioneer Brand Seeds, the sponsor of the Iowa Degree Program to bestow the Iowa FFA degrees. rising sun, the plow, the ear of corn, the emblem of Washington, the flag, the door. From the AGWSR, Chloe Bitter.
Trey Metzger. From Adele DeSoto Minburn, Tori Schmidt. From East Union, Chase Allen. From East Union, Riley Woolams. From Albernet, Reese Burns. Riggs Martin. From Algona, Kayla Busher. Porter Davis. Logan Lentz. Kara Roder, no. Carson Scow, Ellie Vasky, from North Polk, Lane Jensen. From North Polk, Jacob Munt. From Alta Early, Lily Schulberg. Allison Watts. From Ames, Noah Gar. Autumn Wild. Anna Mosa, Allison Althoff. Chloe Borst. Kaylin Hines. Go. Dean Lambertson. Grant Lovin. Wesley Meyer. From the CAM FFA chapter, Hannah Thomas. From the Starmont FFA chapter, Ethan Bunting. Abigail Krogman. Ryland Shepley. From North Union, Sienna Hansen. Addison Cruz. From North Union, Joe Olson. From Atlantic, Colton Becker. Parker Brock. Roth P. Den Besti. Charlie Goff. Callie Pellet. Claire Pellet. Colton Rudy. Wyatt Simons. Chapter. From Audubon, Corbin Chambers. Connor Christensen. Oliver Deist. Emily Foran. Mary Gleason. Colton Hansen. Callie Julesgard. Carson Mike. Aaron Olson. Kylie Peterson. Captain. Daniel Tessman. From HSTW, Brooklyn Buck. Lillian Scott. From Baxter, Jocelyn Harder. Holly Zaronis. From Bedford, Naya McMillan. From Belle Plain, Alyssa Steinbeck. From Bellevue, Hope Griben. Caden Gunther. Tate Niemers. Tyler Wolf. From Belmont Clemmy, Blake Berkla. Jade Daniels. 
Aiden Hoshbit. From Davis County, Trevor Juice. AJ Peterson. From Bondurant Farrar, Lauren Fuchs. Emma Liss. Braden Parks. Garrett Von Stein. From Boone A&M, Braxton Hansen. Wyatt Herstrom. Tyler Osborne. Mackenzie Sego. <laughs> Emma Weebold. From West Hancock, Evan Ford. Sydney. Sydney Tui. From South Winnesheek, Grace Baker. John Donovan. Katrina Hangman. From Carroll area, Kaya Davis. Madeline Lentz. Miley Schultz. Laura Steinkamp. Jacob Stork. From Cascade, Bryce Lynch. Zalika Nodal. Maggie Fobb. Leia Schwankner. Hunter Schwoom. From Cedar Rapids Prairie, Mitch Mahoney. Adam McRae. Isabel Nedelicki. Caitlin Sterling. Carter Thomas. From Central City Springville, Ethan Hosek. Shiley Port. From Cheriton, Briley Atwell. Sydney Kane. Kenton Jensen. How do you spell it? Say your last name. Shelby Larrington. Caleb Offenberger. Drake Schultz. From Charles City, Colton Andrag. Shay Bell. Josette Benning. Margaret Boss. Madison Haas. Hayden Heyer. Olivia Krieger. Jada Litterer. Amelia McKenna. Taylor Quaid. Evan Salilius. Lauren Stout. Lucas Vance. From North Cedar, Braden Balachek. Kylie Fry. McKinley Nat Cash. From Brokaw, Kale Clark. Callie King. Riley Nowhere. I need to know how to say their names. Kaylee Smith. Kale Wagner. From Clarion Goldfield Dows, Harley Charlson. Tate Jackson. Ellie Muse. Shelby Warnke. Lydia Batrude. From Clear Lake, Jack Englin. Alexis Haugie. 
Emery Hippen. Peyton McGrath. Kale Phillips. Cole Storm. From Cedar Coon Rapids Bernard, Gina Hoffman. From Southwest Valley, Reagan Sontag. Dylan Stormer. From Wayne, Maverick Brown. Allison Fortune. Hallie Ingram. From Wayne, Courtney Knudsen. Isabel Moore. Ava Whitney. From Crestwood, Jason Ahern. Ella Keller. Joey Vober. From Keston, Ashlyn Baker. Tyson Looney. Carly Scheel. From Decora, Annika Brincis. Brody Courtney. Kylie Eberling. From Decora, Anders Lovston. Jeremiah Redeski. Colton Wergers. From Makokota Valley, Ethan Brockhone. Cody Hager. Kaya Knipper. Lainey Knipper. Lucas Knipper. Harold Moore. Parker Reese. Kaylee Ronnebaum. From Denison, Jackson Henningsen. Nora Hubert. Brady Lutz. Brittany Musgrave. From DeWitt Central, Joseph Birkin. Rachel Clark. Wyatt Hauser. From Dyke New Hartford, Leif Lucas. From Central Lee, Cameron Cox. Jalen Hawk. Corey Jones. Owen Krungmeyer. Austin Moore. Adeline Robinson. Leo Thomas. Andrew Underwood. Drake Weber. From Dunkerton, Joseph Snyder. From Boyer Valley, Jody Cruz. Zayden Ruffett. From Beckman Catholic, Caitlin Belzer. Libby Hagman. Amber Lehman. Madeline Ryder. Michael Schilling. From Earlham, Charlie Minart. Blake Reynolds. From Agripower, Keith Minart. Brady Belcher. Grayson Belcher. Coy Collett. Jesse Cornelson. Austin DeWild. Libby Isens. Cadence Heald. Trace Hall. Cheyenne Houck. Ella Ray. Kayla Vanzani. Emmett Vanzani. From Edgewood Colesburg, Connor Wilson. From South Har Harden, Aaron Collins. From North Scott, August Bauer. Woo! Nolan Engelbrecht. Woo! Mia Gomez. Woo! Carter Harms. Woo! Justin LaFriends. Jackson McAllister. 
Rowan Schaffer. Cole Wessel. From Elk, from Exira Elkhorn Kim Balton, Harley Fawn. From Central Community, Caitlin Drucker. Jordan Lee Everett. Keaton Klingman. Nate Sherborn. Rebecca Sewer. From Emmitsburg, Addison Fair Opine. Emma Kraus. Ashton Peters. Josie Saxon. From Esterville, Shelby Broche. From Wapsie Valley, Dayton Jurgens. Gabriel Mathias. Addison Meckelhaus. Leanne Otrogi. Braden Strawman. Dallas Tissue. From Fairfield, Brianna Steele. Madison Woodburn. From Forest City, Peyton Klein. Chase Sorensen. Elia Wiki. From Holy Trinity Catholic, Emily Ross. From Iowa River, Greta Gouge. Mason Graham. From GMG, Lillian Brew. Reese Steelman. From George Little Rock, Taryn Odens. Emily Winkle. From Gil Glidden Ralston, Brenna Bowman. Chandler Grossman. From Central Plains, Aiden Anderson. Grant Farnham. Woo! Hannah Hicks. Woo! Isaiah Erig. Alexis Peterson. Spencer Sukan. From GTRA, Josie Ryman. Adeline Rudder. From North Butler, Wyatt Anderson. Sage Many. Casey Wubke. From Nottoway Valley, Delaney Blemmy. Bailey Carsons. Chase Comstock. McKinley Edwards. Georgia Holiday. Charles Rudolph. From Griswold, Riley Harrison. Kaylee Swain. Shane Taylor. From ACGC, Belle Fagan. Shay Lemke. Jarrett McLean. Gavin Sloss. From Clayton Ridge, Brooke Hansel. From Harlan, Ava Frederick. Lauren Gall. Kendall Colas. Katie Schmitz. From Harley Melvin Sanborn, Kevin Arambula. Lexi Croat. <laughs> Abigail Otto. Annika Overmeyer. Brennan Stoltz. <laughs> Brett Stoltz. From West Sioux, Emma Hare. Allison Mueller. From Hinton, Haley Copenhaver. From Ridgeview, Nora Pekinki. Dania Werner. Kenna Wees. Morgan Wright. From Hudson, Nora Mitchell. From Boyden Hole, Jackson Harmon. From Western Christian, Olivia Bleeker. Ashen Holstein. Megan Boulder. Brecken Van Buck. From Humboldt, Elliot Carlson. Ava McIntyre. Hayden Rowe. From Mormon Trail, Skylar Coffee. Lance Hafferty. From Ballard, Grant Tweet. 
Paige Witt. From Independence, Jackie Finnegan. Katie Johnson. Elizabeth Kramer. Jackson Wolf. From Indianola, Autumn Campbell. Macy Dar. Suzanne Fredericks. Isabella Hayes. Abby Slack. From West Lyon, Robin Fike. Sydney Cameron. From West Lyon, Mathis Knobloch. Lauren Martin. Ellen Roman. Hayden Mulder. From Iowa Falls, Alden, Cameron Madden. Ava Pieper. Haley Slugley. From Jessup, Katie Clark. Natalie Evans. Claire Kite. From South Hamilton, Kendra Pulverson. Kaden Schwant. From Hillcrest Academy, Morgan Nasser. From Van Buren County, Alicia Cumberland. Abigail Kellner. Alex Kellner. From Kyoto, Ava Greiner. Brody Greiner. From Kingsley Pearson, Kenzie Beeson. Liam Dunn. Jacob Kraft. Charles Boyger. Delaney Ross. From South Central Calhoun, Bryce Bergquist. Nathan Burley. Madison Collison. Ava Finley. Molly Monahan. Matt Nath. Samantha Potts. Claire Riot. Ashley Schleisen. Brady Schumacher. From Lake Mills, Kendall Dahlhe. Garrett Ham. Haley Herr. From Isak, Caleb Icorn. Sam Schmidt. From Lamoni, Emily Pierce Barker. From the Port Dizer, Tyler Gates. From Lamar's, Jaden Birkenpass. Olivia Hansen. Aaron Lee. Kayla Brewers. Ryder Hogan from Lennox. Jay Smith. From Central Trail, Casey Boyce. Judd Easton. Aiden Hall. Wyatt Hammaker. Wade Hill. Lane Leeper. Katie Saltzgraff. Nolan Pearson. Jeffrey Richards. Livy Saylor. Adeline Stone. Riley Yoder. From Louisa Muscatine, Haley Wakeland. From Southeast Warren, Heather Atkinson. Scott Benish. Tatum Orenking. Sturgis Fridley. Colton Halterman. Emmeline Mozak. Owen Scott. Chase Thompson. Spencer Wallace. From Lone Tree, Kelly Marshak. From West Delaware, Micah Brooks. Katherine Comley. Malia Demmer. Ashley Hartman. From Central Springs, Aubrey Hoeft. From IKM Manning, Claire Behrens. Holly Blum. Brooke Booth. Kennedy Ashite. 
Alexis Grun. Reagan Earlbeck. From Manson, Northwestern Webster, Tandler, Tanner Jondal. Kayla Scramstad. From MVAO, Aiden Bodgen. Charlie Forbes. Autumn Hansen. Margo McMillan. Renee Oberbruder. From Makokota, Skyler Berkey. Allison Coates. Shaylin Weeman. From Marengo, Mason Altenhoff. Lola Frimmel. Jaden Goschel. Brooklyn Kilgard. Carly Kanke. Alana McKibben. Stella Sayers. Grace Schlock. Aslan Trumper. From Lynn Marr, Emily Ritzy. Nathan Zumba. From Collins Maxwell, Colton Dunblazer. From Mediapolis, Russell Frank. Cody Messer. Allison Nolly. Taylor Schnedler. Haley Wick. From Missouri Valley, Wesley Fox. Nicholas May. From MFL Marmac, Mindy Keener. From Diamond Trail, Hope Buckley Bonham. Meredith Chips. Rebecca DeVries. Riley Dehigh. Nate Richards. Jonathan Swan. From Montezuma, Cameron Brennan. Cruz DeYoung. McKenna Jonas. Jordan Ranfeld. Madison Van Z. From Monticello, Brennan Vulcan. Reed Brunsheen. Ava Capron. Keaton Hurstman. Baylor Holub. Tate Jesenovic. Royce Kibbers. Leah Kohler. Logan Mushton. Alex Pruel. Kinsey Schlarman. Haley Schlarman. Tyler Soppy. Alyssa Wickman. Will Wolken. Benjamin Zirkelbach. From Moravia, Parker Spring. Piper Suffelbeam. From Molten Udell, Ashlyn Laisley. From Mount Air, Burke Willis. Rachel Ogden. From Mount Pleasant, Briar Bender. Alexis Franci. Ethan Graber. Addie McGarity. From Murray, Abigail Chamberlain. Bryn Harrison. Megan Henricks. Drew Johnston. CJ Kent. Kenzie Mongar. Hayden Page. From Muscatine, Camden Furness. Avery Schroeder. From Nashua Plainfield, Isabella Dietz. Jordan Frost. Caleb Lentz. Emma O'Neill. Allison Ryan. Aiden Sullivan. From Tri Center, Natalie Osmore. Hayden Benson. Addison Redenbaugh. 
From Nevada, Ariana Chapel. Madeline Gibson. Gracie Leslie. Rowan Steele. From New Hampton, Tori Bierman. Grace Malloy. Carla Picard. Ethan Praska. Madison Schaffenbuehl. Zachary Utley. Madeline Van Way. Logan Zion. Marshall Zion. From North Mahaska, Mia Schilling. From Newell Fonda, April Meyer. Emma Moinkle. Jake Roberts. Olivia Smith. From Newton, Madeline Atkinson. Carissa Anderson. From Newton, Nevaeh Brown. Colin Cummins. Trinity Ann Hansen. Kaylin Hauber. Nathan Hauber. Libby Keith. From English Valley's Libby Armstrong. Kennedy Axmere. AJ Bruns. Miles Grove. Gabby Custis. Luke Moore. Jaden Rugg. From Riverside, Rebecca Cody. Kyler Reekin. From O-Line, Alexandria Cook. Garrett Keel. Kendra Reckimer. From Ogden, Riley Lurtle. From Holland, Cody Hansen. Hayden Heemstra. McKenna Hoffmeyer. Joy Locke. Kelsey Ullman. Zachary Raby. From Unity Christian, Bryce Fetters. Elijah Hoffmeyer. Decker Mulder. Hayden Ullman. Cole Renz. Lane Skolton. Abby Van Rokel. Dustin Vandevort. Ashton Wyda. Caleb Weiglinga. From Osage, Justin Cudale. Brady Hovde. Bryce Hovde. Jake Miller. From Osceola Big Chief, Marissa Bakley. Kelsey Benda. Ellie Blackford. Ashlyn Crawford. Drew Jacobson. Alyssa Bent. Sean McAfee. Cole McCann. Madison McCoy. Court Selzer. Cole White. From Panorama, Riley Gibson. Hadley Klein. Weston Plor. Sarah Westergaard. From Applington Parkersburg, Cora Barons. Tommy Jansen. Bella Selzer. Eli Shipper. From South O'Brien, Claire Wagner. Benjamin Woodall. From Pella, Regan Decius. Anna German. Callie Vanderwitt. Kayla Vonison. From Southeast Pole, Clara Delt. Alexandra Sagar. Keegan Thompson. Riley Wells. From Pleasantville, Addison Wall. 
From Pilot Creek, Ryan Panbecker. Eli Stuklick. From Postville, Connor Adam. Preston Barr. Owen Bentley. Landon Giese. Moises Hernandez. Adam Kirkusu. Jacob Kirkusu. Parker Lansing. Claire Martins. Harley Miller. Chloe Muller. Caden Schnelli. Emily Tim. Jacob White. From Easton Valley, John Ports. From Red Oak, Tyler Beeson. Ella Johnson. Haley Reinberg. From Riceville, Emma Shipper. Tyler Sprung. From Central Lyon, Keaton Funk. Lily Henry. Jada Ordle. From Rock Valley, Sage Baker. Kylie Spawns. Merrick Ruthest. Brecken Williamson. From Rockford, Kinsey Lyman. Grace Muller. From Sheldon Golden Corn, Tamsin Budden. Peyton Decker. Katie Conkamp. Dana Kintz. Yep. Madison Newellis. From Davis Rogers, Alan Rodewald. From Sibley Ochita and Alexis Huston. Hallie Pedley. Macy Poland. Marshall Skipoff. Claire Freeman. From Sigourney, McKinley Chittick. Regan Clarehan. From Sioux Center, Olivia Crayenbrink. Blake Ostenink. From Sioux Central, Grace Aronson. Leah Bean. Max Bjork. Annalise Bloom. Lacey Johnson. Lena Sanguin. From Westwood, Kennedy Benjamin. From St. Anxer, Isabel Brum. Emma Hall. Olivia Hunting. Mariah Michaels. Mackenzie Offen. From West Marshall, Dawson Bear. Bella Borgos. Lawson Coulter. Noah DeSoto. Avery Evertson. Evan Finch. Lillian Fisher. Hannah Fram. Dawson Goodman. Cash Johnston. Aiden Nay. Kinley Kriegel. Natalie Nichols. Carly Fonts. Dennis Redout. Madeline Thompson. Ellie Walker. Paige Ward. Wade Weave. From Storm Lake, Lydia Whitmore. <laughs> From Roland Story, Jacqueline Gessner. Claire Jonas. William Licht. From Linville Sully, Brooke Coomber. Garrett Jansen. Davis Utech. From Subner Fredericksburg, Emerson Lang. Bowden Tucson. From Clear Creek, Amanda, Jackson Art. Riley Bodie. Katie Evans. Hannah Gross. Shelby Heisler. Kelsey Leathers. Ava Locklear. 
Sophia Rue. Olivia Webb. From North Tama, Ryan Hoshek. Adeline Sinknick. From Northland, Hannah Arnold. Milena Fisher. Kylie Munson. Sydney Olson. Riley Payton. Kaylee Schwartzoff. From Interstate 35, Gracie Kirk. Jetta Nelson. Darian Stark. Cameron Updike. From Benton Community, Jonathan Becker. Mo Brown. Caitlin Golder. William Croneman. Carson Palmer. Aubrey Peterson. Marcus Rickliffe. Cade Valeski. From Benton Shellsburg, Jeremiah Lee. Grace McClintock. Austin Noe. Megan Schlitter. From Wapello, JC Hag. From Washington, Tess Berto. Lauren Lebuski. Jade Sheets. From Little, Little Switzerland, Ethan Gibbs. Caleb Helgerson. Ryan Kolstrud. Olivia Marty. Sarah Stock. Mercedes Wilkins. From Waverly Shellrock, Aiden Nermody. Hunter Fossey. Ashley Hine. Bergen Henning. Madison Henrich. Daniel McCubbin. Tyler Mitchell. Levi Schultz. Emma Smith. Austin Soldwich. From Waco, Wyatt Dennis. Zoe Denler. Brendan Hudson. From Webster City, Ethan Harms. From Quinn, from Webster City, Quinn Wally. From Mid Prairie, Quinn Callahan. Peyton Ford. Sydney Knievel. Charlotte Searin. Bryn Young. From Hawkeye, Denver Knobloch. Trevor Stalzer. From DCHS, Isaac Gretke. Leonard Clem. Peyton Moore. From North Fayette Valley, Michael Baumler. Kennedy Buckborn. Sarah Dean. Kenneth Kerr. Keenan Ide. Claire Caster. Lacey Lauer. Braylon Meyer. Alexis Oakland. From Kalama Sweetland, Brooklyn Biddle. Alexa Jacoby. Miranda Rickles. Cooper Vanderheiden. Erica Will. From Williamsburg, Emily Byer. Audrey Heitman. Katie Cruz. Ashlyn Schultz. Jackson Von Oz. Carson Von Lennon. Chris Yenter. From Will and Savannah Minard. Caitlin Thede. Madeline Thede. From Winterset, Justin Decker. From East Buchanan, Lindsay Byer. Ada Cook. Michael Dolan. Addison Gricky. Tristan Lindsay. From Midland, J.D. Martin. 
Koi Peterson. Owen Sturt. Congratulations to all our, of our 2024 Iowa FFA degree recipients. On behalf of the Iowa FFA Association, I would like to thank you and Corteva AgriScience Pioneer Brand Seeds for sponsoring the 2024 Iowa FFA degrees. Our 793 recipients are so grateful for your support. We present you with this conference gift as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm Lizzie Hadley. And I'm Annabelle Newton. I'm the South Central State Vice President. And I'm the Northeast State Vice President. And we're FFA speaking. You belong with me by Taylor Swift. <laughs> but she wears short skirts. I wear t-shirts. She's cheer captain. And I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you are looking for has been here the, the whole, whole time. time. Since 1929, Iowa FFA members have truly learned what it means to live to serve. For 96 years, members from across the state have exhibited premier leadership, personal growth, and career success throughout their time in agricultural education. And for 96 years, there has been a group of servant leaders at the front of it all serving as the Iowa FFA State Officer Team. Please help me welcome back to the coveted Hilton stage, our past State Officers from throughout the years.
officers for serving the Iowa FFA. At this time, please direct your attention to the screen for the year in review slideshow. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel all right. The kind you wanna stay up with all night. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel whole. They won't leave your side when you lose control. The ones that don't let you lose your soul. You gotta find your people. The ones that get the joke, who understand what you're saying for a word. I'll always remember we have had the time of our lives. And now the page is turned, the stories we will write. We have had the time of our lives. And I will not forget the faces left. parents, advisors, and guests, for the final time, your 2023-2024 Iowa FFA Officer Team. The secretary's desk has a, one announcement at this time. If you have found a Van Wall drawstring bag with a plaque inside of it, please bring it to the secretary's desk immediately. Thank you. Thank you. 
on April 18th, 2023, nine FFA members rushed onto the stage with a pounding heart in front of a crowd of more than 6,000 people. Little did they know their lives would forever be changed. As they committed their lives to a year of service, they worked tirelessly to ensure our organization continues to show that we will make a difference in the lives of others. They committed themselves to excellence in enhancing the Iowa FFA so that it continues to develop the next generation of leaders. These individuals grew as a family and each grew their love for the FFA and agricultural education. But the most important aspect of our year is successfully passing on our position to another team that will continue to lead and advance the Iowa FFA Association. Throughout the next few moments, the lives of nine members will be changed forever. These candidates have been anxiously awaiting to hear the results of today's election. Please help me in welcoming, from across the great state of Iowa, our leaders for the coming year, our 2024-2025 Iowa FFA officers. For the office of Northeast Vice President, from the Decor FFA chapter, Green of Northwest Vice President. From the Westwood FFA chapter, Colton Pepin. For the office of South Central Vice President. From the Creston FFA chapter, Tucker Rowland. Office of North Central Vice President. From the Nashua Plainfield FFA Chapter, Caleb Lentz. For the Office of Southeast Vice President. From the Minneapolis FFA Chapter, Cody Messer. Vice President. From the IKM Manning FFA Chapter, Brooke Booth. For the Office of Reporter. From the Central Lion FFA, Caden Spooner. For the Office of Secretary. From the Tri-County FFA, Chloe Zinnergreen. And now, for the announcement of our 2024-2025 Iowa FFA State President. From the Audubon FFA chapter, Colin Bauer. It is an honor to serve as an officer in the FFA. From time to time during the year, you may encounter difficult problems, but through cooperation, hard work, and dedication, you will succeed and the FFA will continue to prosper. Do each of you accept the responsibilities of your office and will each of you do your best to uphold the ideals and principles of the FFA? If so, answer, we do. This past year has been nothing short of amazing, and I have no doubt the year ahead will be any different. FFA members, you all are all a testament to the remarkable success of this organization and agricultural organ education as a whole. Your passion for the agricultural industry is infectious and your dedication to service is inspiring. Thank you all for continually exhibiting your drive to make this world a better place while constantly improving yourselves. I am honored to have gotten to serve each of you this past year. 
the 96 Iowa FFA Leadership Conference was a success due to the dedication and determination that you all have displayed. You are all the heartbeat of what makes Iowa FFA special. Colin, I am honored to present you with this gavel and block for the 2024-2025 year. I wish the best of luck to you and your team as you embark on your journey throughout the next year. Iowa FFA, thank you all for the adventure of a lifetime. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Although this convention may be coming to an end, its impact will continue to be felt as you return to your communities and make a difference. Ye other individuals I served with this past year were committed to be a servant leader for the Iowa FFA. We started as teammates, but grew not only as friends, but as family. To the 2024-2025 team, your year of service to the Iowa FFA Association will be one of the greatest experiences of your life. With cooperation and dedication, our team will make a difference in the lives of others. Madam Secretary, do you have a record of any new or do you have a record of any business which should not be transacted? I have none, Mr. President. Are there any announcements from the Secretary's desk at this time? The Secretary's desk has a few announcements at this time. The reception line for the retiring officers will be located on the outer concourse of section 111. The new state officer reception line will take place on the outer concourse behind 117. The 2024-2025 officers will report to that location following team photos in the photography room. Would Cade Valeski please report to the secretary's desk? That's it, Mr. President. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should now properly come before this meeting? We are about to adjourn this, the fourth and final general session of the 96 Iowa FFA Leadership Conference. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me in the salute to our flag. I pledge I now declare this convention adjourned. Got too much on your plate to bait and cast the line. You can always put a rain check in his hand till you can't. You can keep putting off forever with that girl whose heart you hold, swearing that you'll last someday further down the road. Always put a diamond on her hand till you can. If you got a chance, take it, take it while you got a chance. If you got a dream, chase it, cause a dream won't chase you back. If you're gonna love somebody, hold them as long and as strong and as close as you can till you can. Sitting in the 
trunk of that 65 Still waiting on you and your granddad To bring it back to life You can always get around to fixing up that Pontiac Till you can't If you got a chance, take it Take it while you got a chance If you got a dream, chase it Cause a dream won't chase you back you're gonna love somebody Hold them as long and as strong And as close as you can Till you can So take that phone call from your mama And just talk away Cause you'll never know how bad you want to Till you can't someday Don't wait on tomorrow Cause tomorrow may not show Say your sorries, your I love you's Cause man, you never know If you got a chance, take it Take it while you got a chance If you got a dream, chase it Cause a dream won't chase you back If you're gonna love somebody